Good morning. I hope everybody's doing great today. Uh, today we're going to be building our first game. So on here we're going to move. We're going to be creating a little horizontal game, um, kind of a flying game. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and grab a backdrop, and we're going to make it a flying game. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blue sky here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got the blue sky. Now I don't want the cat in this game, so I'm going to get rid of my cat. And I'm going to go find, there's a little flying hippo. Well, the duck might be fun, but there it is. The flying hippo. That's what we're looking for. So they call it hippo one. All right, so we've got this. Now, I don't want him so much in the middle of the screen as I do kind of, let's start him over on the edge here. Okay, maybe not that much, right in here. And if I look, I can see where I'm at. So I'm at negative 120, uh, negative 102. So we're gonna go ahead and when click, we want what to happen. Well, we want our hippo to start in that position. So we're gonna go to motion and it says go to, and that is where I want. Now, when I do this, I always want to try and just check real quick to make sure my X and Y are correct, and they are, okay? So, you don't have to have exactly the same thing. Just set your hippo somewhere kind of in that bottom left part of the screen uh, would be a great place for him. So, now when I click the button, he will go there. So, then I want to go into my controls, and from there... We're going to do a forever because we just want him to continually move. So forever, we're going to go to motion. You know what? Instead of making him move just forever, we're going to make this where we can control him. We're going to make it to where we can do um, up and down. Okay? So forever. We still want our forever block. But now we're going to do an if statement. So we have forever if sensing and we want this touching and instead of mouse pointer oops what did I do I grabbed the wrong one I want key pressed so if key we don't care about space we want the up arrow so if key up arrow is pressed then we want our hippo to move so we're gonna go to motion and we're going to do this move 10 steps. So I'm going to try this now. Hit run. I hit the up arrow. Oh, no. He's moving horizontally. Well, I don't want that. I'm going to hit stop. And what happened here? Well, he's moving 10 steps. That takes him on that Y axis there. Okay. So get rid of that. And we want to go down here where it says change X by 10. Oh, wait. What am I doing? X would be the same thing we just did. I don't want to change X. I want to change Y by 10. Now, if I hit start, notice my hippo went back to where it was. I push up, and he's going up. I push the down arrow, nothing happens. He went up. That's what we wanted. Here we go. Next step, back to control. I want another if statement. So I put that if statement down below the other because we want this to be just checking forever. So they're all nested together in that forever. I want to do another sensing. And we want to go back to key pressed. This time I want down arrow. So now we got the down. If down arrow is pressed, then I want him to go down. So we're going to go back to motion. We're going to go down to change our Y. Now, here's the thing. If I leave this at 10, watch what happens. Start, run. I push up, I go up. I push the down arrow, and I still go up. So in order to make this work correctly, notice we're changing both these by 10. Well, we've got to do the opposite of 10. 
the opposite is going to be a negative 10. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to hit run. I push up. I go up. I push down. I go down. So now my hip will go up and down. Pretty cool. I like that. The one thing I want to happen, though, is I want these wings to flap. So we're going to go up to the look category. You see the purple up here. And we've got all these things. I just want next costume, okay? So I'm going to put next costume in here. Up. You can put it above or below. I put them below this time. Stop. Run. Now my wings flap. If you don't like how fast those are flapping, if they're too fast, you could put a weight in there. I would do like a quarter of a second, so 0 0.25 or something would make it look a little better. Um, and I'll even show you that real quick. So we'll go and find, that's costume, we want motion, I think is where we'll find our weight. No, not there. Vent. Wait, there it is, under control. So we'll just do it on when he's going down. So we're going to do this, and we're going to put in 0 0.25, quarter of a second. Now when I go up, it flaps fast, but when I go down, notice he slowly goes down. Fast going up. Now, notice it controls my how fast he can descend. So if I change that, I can't go up and down near as quickly as I could before. I'm waiting for that. So maybe that is just too slow. Maybe I want to go 0.2. Up, down. Up, down. I think I'm going to go a little bit faster. We'll put in a 1. Yeah, I can live with that. I like that. He goes fast up and then he descends. So for now, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. But it's still not really a game yet. We need to get something that's going to move and something we got to dodge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add another sprite. So we're going to go to choose a sprite. Okay. And since we're in the sky... I think I want a cloud right there. I'm going to take this cloud. Okay. There's our nemesis. There's our enemy. There is what we have to avoid. So I've got this cloud, and I want it to start. I'm going to start it up here at the top of the screen. It's going to start right there. So I, I placed it there. We're going to go to control, or sorry, event. We're going to grab when the flag is clicked. Now, I always want my cloud to start there. So I'm going to go down, and I'm going to find this. Go to X, 246, 152, 246, 150. Yep, that's where I want it to go to. So now, no matter what happens, that will always be right there. Now, kind of like we did before. We're going to throw in it forever because we want this thing moving forever. And we're going to do a motion. And we're going to move on the X axis. Now, here's going to be the interesting part. So change X by 10. We're going to put that in there. But watch what happens when I push stop and run. It went the other way. And from last time, we know if it's not going the way we want, we're just going to change it. So that's a positive 10. We want a negative 10. There it goes across the screen. I like that. Now, here's the thing. When it gets to this side of the screen, I want it to go back to the other side of the screen. So in order to do that, in my forever, I'm going to go to control. And I'm going to grab an if. So if my cloud, we'll see if we can find something that says that. So I don't want on edge. I probably want to go into something like operations. 
And we're going to say if it's less than, and right now I can see that it's a negative 291. So we're going to say when it gets to like negative 300, we know we're at the other side. So there's my less than sign. And I said negative 300. So if it's negative, and I think it's at the bottom here. So we got this on edge, but we want our x position. So if our cloud's x position is less than negative 300, which puts it where it's at, we want our cloud to go back. So we're going to go back, and we want that go to block that we've been doing. Go to, but here's the thing. Oops. I want it to go, oops. I want to go back on that side of the screen somewhere. And as I start putting that cloud over there, I can see that I'm going to close to 300 on that X. So I'm going to put this at 300. And this one, I don't always want the cloud to be there. That's going to be a boring game if the cloud is always right there. We want the cloud to randomly appear anywhere in here. So I can see that the very top gets close to 200 and the very bottom close to negative 200. So we're going to go to operations and pick random. So in our Y, we want a 200, and you can do this kind of in order, negative 200 to 200. Now I'm going to hit run and we watch our cloud. Boom. Hmm not quite working the way I wanted it to. Why? Why is it not working? Well, let's go something, maybe not 300. Let's go to negative 200. Ah, so if we change that to a negative 200, our cloud will work. But if we go to 300, it doesn't work. So there are cloud. We can see it's just randomly going all over. And what we're eventually going to make this happen, we're going to stop, we're going to play. What I want is I want my hippo to try and dodge this cloud. Uh oh, and this may be a harder game than I want. I may have to change the speed at which I fall. Or I could change the speed at which the cloud is coming. Okay. So right now we're building an easy game. We will play with this a little bit more and add more like scores and things like that. But for now, we're not going to put any variables. We're going to keep this really simple. I like what we have. I like what we have a lot. So we have so far our cloud moving. We have our hippo moving. We're going to go back to the hippo. And we're going to put in another control, another if statement. And that's going to go below the other, still inside my forever. And in here, I just scrolled up. Okay, so we're still in every, everything's nested together. And it's going to say if. So if touching, and here's where we want to change stuff. So if touching, this one says pointer. Let's see if we can find if touching cloud, then. So if my hippo is touching my cloud, then what I want it to do? Well, I kind of want it to go game over. So I'm going to go to looks. And you see where it says say hello for two seconds. We're going to grab that block. And we're going to change this to game over. And we'll broadcast that for two seconds. So stop, play. We touch, says game over, but really the game's not over. Everything continues playing, okay? It stops me for two seconds, but then I can move again. Well, I like that. So far, so good. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to add another background. So we're going to go to backgrounds. I'm going to go here. and I'm going to grab this plain blue background. Now here's the thing. Now when I'm playing, I'm on that background. I, I don't want that. I, this isn't my playing background, although it could be if I wanted to. But for now, that's going to be my game over background. So 
I'm going to click on my stage here on my background. So that gives me my background code. Okay. Event. I don't need anything here except for <clears throat> when background switches. And it says background one now, but I'm on blue sky two. <clears throat> so when the background switches to blue sky two, I want to go to, there is a stop all. Where is it? There it is. Stop all. Okay. So when I go to this background, everything stops. Well, so far I'm on that background. What I want to do now is go back to my other background. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to my hippo. So when the flag is clicked, well, we don't want to be on this background, right? We want to set background. They call it backdrop, but set our backdrop and we'll do that. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Set backdrop to sky. We're going to test it. Stop play. There we are. We're playing game over, but it doesn't switch yet, right? So we got to do that now. So stop now at the bottom. If touching cloud, we say game over and then we need to switch backdrop to blue sky two, which is our next one. So let's try that. Stop play. I'm flying, I'm dodging, but I'm going to hit the cloud. Game over. Boom. Switches. And I can't move because everything stopped. I like that. That's working well. So now the next thing we need to do is I really don't want to see these guys. Okay. Let's make these guys hide also. So in looks, we go down the bottom and there's this hide button. So now... I'm going to go and put it up above because I want to be sure when we get to this one, we don't see these guys pop over at all. So I've got that. I need to go to my cloud. And, ooh, you know what? I don't have that in here. So what I need to do is I'm going to go into my event. And when backdrop switches to blue sky 2, our look needs to go to hide. Okay, so now we have hide. I'm going to hit run. We're going to see what happens. I can fly. I hit game over. Boom. Nice. We got the blue screen. We're done. Game's over. I hit stop. I hit play. I don't have any characters. Well, in Scratch, what I need to do is, since they're hid, they're hid now. So the best thing to do is, when that flag is clicked, they're going to go to that area, and it's going to show. And I need to do the same thing with my hippo. So now, we're going to go to show. I'll go to that area. Okay, we're going to switch back to our this background, our playing background. We're going to go to this area, and then my sprite will show. So I hit, boom, there he is. Now we dodge, we fly, I touch, game over, boom, game's done. This is where we're going to start. In our next video, we're going to pick up the same game. We're going to add some sound effects so that we have some sound in the game. We'll do, you know, maybe some flapping. We'll see how that how that works in there. Make sure it's not too disrupting. Uh, maybe some background music and a game over sound when we touch, you know. When that hippo and elephant or hippo and cloud touch, then we'll get a game over sound. So until next time, have fun coding. We're going to give this a name. We're going to call this hippo. And we're going to say this was our level one code. So next time we will go to level two. All right. Happy coding.